Globe News working for you. Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, the United States hits a milestone mark in COVID-19 case numbers. We'll have the latest. Plus, memorials for 9-11 victims continue in New York today. We'll have that coming up. And the high pressure continues to bring dry and warm weather through Monday. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's take a look at your first forecast. Alicia Hatcher is standing by in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab with more. Alicia. Good evening, Gina. Today, looking very nice for us here in the Mountain State. Taking a look over in Morgantown, clear skies for us and lots and lots of sun. Temperatures are still in the 80s and in the 70s. 80 right now in Elkins, 82 in Glenville, 84 in Middleburn, 81 in Morgantown. As we continue to move through this evening, we drop down to the mid to upper 60s. 67 with uh, some mostly clear skies again, and also again a chance to see some valley fog but those winds are on the calm side for this evening even though they are slightly breezy and a few areas and I'll have your full forecast coming up in just a bit Gina Thanks, Alicia the United States crossed the 41 million COVID case milestone late last night according to an NBC news tally after a slow and steady decline in the spring cases have started to increase during the summer 16 states and territories have seen a 25% increase in the number of cases in the last two weeks compared to the two weeks before. South Dakota, North Dakota, and right here in West Virginia have seen four-week increases in cases of COVID-19. As of late last night, there were more than 662,000 coronavirus-related deaths in the U.S. Earlier this week, President Biden announced several new mandates to try and help the coronavirus pandemic in the United States. West Virginia's Attorney General Patrick Morrissey issued a statement about Biden's plan. Morrissey says in the statement that broad vaccine mandates and vaccine passport requirements, especially those without ex ex exceptions, may offend constitutional interests in personal medical decision making, the right to religious freedom, and the fundamental right to assemble, vote, petition, and generally engage as a member of civil society. The statement also says that laws or policies, whether passed by state, county, or city entity requiring all government employees to be COVID vaccinated, would violate the state's constitution as well as state and federal laws. To read the full statement from Attorney General Patrick Morrissey, visit our website, WBOY.com. Governor Jim Justice expressing outrage for that same plan that Joe Biden has pitched. Justice says that he does not support mandating vaccines for millions of American workers. The White House says the Labor Department is developing a rule that businesses with more than 100 employees require vaccination or weekly testing. It's a move prompting, prompting both praise and criticism. I just graduated from WVU and while I was there I had to get weekly tested and that made me more comfortable as a person until I got my vaccine um, that I was comfortable going to work and uh, seeing my friends until I got vaccinated now I feel a lot more comfortable out here in the world. I'm trying to give that clown much attention uh, vaccine wise my body my choice works one way it should work the other shouldn't have to get it if you don't want it. Biden's plan also calls for accelerating the production of rapid tests. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation hosted a ceremony today to honor civilians and first responders who have succumbed to 9-11 related illnesses. The ceremony began with a moment of silence, followed by family, friends, and fellow first responders reading aloud the names of those that they've lost. The organization was established to remember those who worked at Ground Zero during the attacks. For two decades, the foundation has paid off the mortgages of first responders and veterans who have passed away from 9-11 related illnesses and leave behind young children. So far, the foundation has paid in full the mortgages on at least 20 homes. 
For more information about the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, visit 2t2.org. On Eagle's Wings Therapeutic Horsemanship held a jamboree open house at their facility in Fairmont this afternoon. The center offered live bluegrass music, a raffle, and activities for kids, as well as a chance to meet all of the animals. The facility features 13 full size horses, three miniature horses, and other farm animals. The nonprofit provides assisted activities to individuals with disabilities. We are so grateful for the way the North Central West Virginia community um, supports us. Our motto at On Eagle's Wings is changing lives one hoof beat at a time, and it takes a whole entire herd from the community to do that. So we just want to thank everybody for their support. If you'd like to learn more about On Eagle's Wings and their facility, we'll have more information on our website, WBOY.com. Simpsons Creek Baptist Church is celebrating its 250th anniversary. Church members gathered this morning for a service and the church's annual block party. The block party is an end of summer celebration which will have food, inflatables and music. One of the church's pastors says everyone in the community is invited to the party to enjoy free food, a good time and to learn more about the church. Everybody knows how much technology has impacted us over the last year in a positive way, like making possible things that couldn't be possible before, but it, it'll never replace being able to do face-to-face -face meetings. So we're excited to get to do stuff like that, and we're excited to be able to share with the community that we're here for them, and we, and we love them, and we want to be able to serve. The pastor says he hopes the community can join his church to celebrate the 250 years and have a good time. Today was the last day of Belgium Fest, an annual motorcycle rally that draws in people from in and out of state. Organizers say roughly a couple thousand people came to Taylor County Fairgrounds this weekend to enjoy music, the company of others, and riding their motorcycles. The event was canceled last year, but it gave organizers the chance to get an extra year of planning to make 2021's event extra special. The Belgium Fest committee member says there is a great relief that they pulled it off and encouraged people to come out and check it out next year. One of the big things is just because you don't ride a motorcycle doesn't mean you're not welcome at Belgium Fest. Um, we have vendors, we have music all weekend long, there's good food up here and just good people. So if you're, you're just curious what it's all about, come on out to the Taylor County Fairgrounds next year and check it out. Real says he's glad everyone had a good weekend and he can't wait for next year. Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, an organization in Preston County holds a golf tournament to raise money for a nonprofit. And Nick Farrell will bring you the latest on the Mountaineers. Plus, Abby Backenstow is in the 12 Sports Zone with the latest on high school sports. Stick with us. Wake up with Hardee's. You can have candy for breakfast. Wait, what? New $3 French toast dips. Sweeten up your morning at Hardy's. No. Order ahead online. I was hurt by a truck and I called Colombo Law. I was hurt by a truck and I called Colombo Law. I was hurt by a truck and I called Colombo Law. I was hurt by a truck and I called Colombo Law. I was hurt by a truck and I called Colombo Law. I was hurt by a truck and I called Colombo Law. The reason people call Colombo Law is we are different than any other law firm. We offer a level of personal service that's not found anywhere else. Hurt by a truck? Call Colombo Law. You are, I am, we are, you are, I am, we are, you are, I am, we are all seasons. Oh yeah! season of real is better than ever with bigger paydays Bye. more access with me maggie sajak your new social correspondent i'll take you backstage for a look at what happens behind the scenes oh i love using instaface and tweety nice one dad and this season of real's first tournament ever this season really is better than ever told you it all starts monday september 13th wake up 
up with Hardee's. $2 sausage biscuit, $4 breakfast platter. But wait, new $3 French toast dips make the most important meal of the day more fun. Hardee's new $3 French toast dips, the sweet one on the two, three more breakfast menu. Order ahead online. Healthcare careers are needed now more than ever. Laurel Business and Technical Institute has the resources you need to start your medical profession. Start your career today at www.laurel.edu. Working for you, this is 12 News Weekend Edition. Welcome back. In Preston County, West Virginia Caring held its 33rd annual Dr. D.R. Davis Golf Tournament at the Preston County Country Club this morning. 28 teams with over 100 participants played 18 holes of golf with lunch and refreshments included. A hole-in-one contest, closest to the pin, and longest drive contest gave golfers a chance at cash and other prizes. Proceeds from today's event go directly towards the nonprofit and the work they do for the community. We've cared for so many of these golfers' families and generations over the years, so they know why they're donating their money and coming to play in this tournament. The golf tournament was made possible through several local sponsors. Now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. So to start off our month of September, we saw almost triple as much rain in our region in a few areas. And then we see more than normal. Look here, here in Clarksburg, saw up to two inches of rain. Normally see a slightly over an inch and so forth. And Elkins saw up to three inches and normally see a, a slightly over an inch of rain. So we've seen more than the average number. That is due to Hurricane Ida moving through our region a few weeks ago. Go. But right now, taking a look over in Fairmont, nice, beautiful evening, some nice sunny skies that we're seeing. That wind is slightly on the breezy side in most areas of our region, but coming down in a few areas. Temperatures are now winding down to the low 80s and in the 70s. 70 right now in Oakland, 79 in Philippi, 82 in West Union, and 80 in Fairmont. As we continue to move in, into the new start of our work week, this high pressure system that is in the south. That's where we're going to start seeing dry and warm temperatures. That is why it is looking very nice for us here in the Mountain State. So for the rest of this evening, we'll have slightly clouds in our region, then they'll clear out. So some mostly sunny skies and a mostly clear, clear evening. And for our Monday, looking very nice for us as well. Just like this weekend, we'll have a few lingering clouds, but overall will be a nice Monday for us with some clear skies for our Monday evening evening. The same thing repeats itself on Tuesday. Some mostly sunny skies all throughout the course of our day for our Tuesday all the way into our Tuesday night. On Tuesday night there's a chance we start to see some showers roll on in in the higher elevations but then on Wednesday we'll see a slight chance for a few showers. So we are seeing this week slightly above average temperatures throughout our region. We dropped down just a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday and that's where we're going to start seeing that moisture move in on Wednesday and Thursday. That's why those temperatures are dropping slightly a little bit. But for tonight, our low is 67 degrees with some mostly clear skies. There's a chance we could see some fog in the valleys, but overall looking very nice for us with that wind slightly on the breezy side, but should come down to a calm side by late this evening and early tomorrow morning. Temperatures drop down into the 60s for tonight, like I was stating. So we do have a, a significant drop that we'll see tonight with the going from the 80s down to the 60s. 60s to start off our morning and our new work week and then we jump up to the 80s for our Monday. Temperatures looking very nice for us for this week but then we have a chance to see uh, a few showers on Wednesday and Thursday and possibly all over the weekend but Sunday supposed to look very nice for us. So we should enjoy the clear skies and the warm temperatures we have now because we will not be getting that. Yes yeah, so I future. believe for the rest of this week it'll be slightly above average but then we're going to start dropping down and getting those fall like temperatures. Oh, fall is <laughs> fall is upon us. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> All right, thanks Alicia. Now to Nick Farrell with a look at your Mountaineers. Here is your Mountaineer minute. West Virginia women's soccer has played some tough opponents so far this season. But game number 7 though 
That resulted in the squad's most lopsided victory of the fall. We'll get to the match highlights in a moment, but this is the video you need to see. Pups on the pitch at Dick Delesque Soccer Stadium. And you can see more video of all the very good boys and girls who came out to support the Mountaineers at GoldenBlueNation.com. As for the play on the pitch, that was all Mountaineers from start to finish. Julianne Valorand opened the scoring in the 23rd minute with her team leading third goal of the season. The deluge of goals was only beginning. Lauren Sagala, Isabella Sibley, Leah Sparacio, and Delari Heredia Beltran all scored for the old Golden Blue in a 5 0 rout of St. Francis. It's the squad's fourth clean sheet of the season. Well, we finally uh, put the ball in the back of the net. I, um, you know, I thought the tempo of the game, we moved the ball well. And, uh, you know, we've been struggling to finish and creating, you know, creating those chances is, is something we've done. And now we're finishing the chances we created, which was important. West Virginia improves to 4-2-1 and one overall. Its next match is Thursday night at James Madison. More postgame coverage from this one at GoldenBlueNation.com. That's the latest on the Mountaineers. In Morgantown, I'm Nick Farrell. For the latest news, sports, and weather, visit WBOY.com today. Now more than ever, with the increased demand for services, Valley Healthcare System continues to hire a variety of treatment professionals. Go to our website and explore the job opportunities. Owning a hot tub is relaxing and great fun for the whole family. Leisure World, your number one hot tub dealer, turns your dream of owning a spa and makes it a reality. We make the process easy. We're family owned. Come see us. Leisure World, your pool and spa expert. My name is Patrick Turner. I live here in Morgantown, and I'm a COVID survivor. In the beginning, we didn't consider it to be serious. Didn't think I would ever catch COVID. My COVID-19 symptoms started on July 20th. It was just very difficult to breathe. I spiked a fever. I was coughing. And at that point, my wife said the only option I had was to go to the emergency room. I could see the fright in her eyes, and she was, she was as scared as I was. I was in the hospital for four days. I never thought about it being as bad as what it was. I definitely wish I would have gotten vaccinated sooner. I wouldn't want to see anybody go through what I went through. It's just 15 minutes of your time to go get your vaccine. I spent four days in the hospital because I didn't have it. I got vaccinated for my friends, family, loved ones to protect them. At US Cellular, we know the local landscape so we can help everyone stay connected for less. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Whether it's adapting the network for a strong signal where you work or optimizing your coverage where you play, we're always hard at work to make sure our state-of-the-art 5G network works for you. Up to $1,200 off any 5G phone with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Don't fight the insurance companies alone. The Miley Legal Group will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Visit MileyLegal.com today and get the tiger on your side. What drives you? Shop Toyota for legendary safety and reliability. Toyota, let's go places. Only one auto company has set up shop right here in West Virginia. Toyota, employing over 1,700 team members who produce more than 1 million high-quality engines and transmissions a year. It's jobs and income that make a real difference to the people and economy in West Virginia. Toyota is our home team. Go West Virginia. And go Toyota. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. Happy Sunday, everyone. While you enjoy NFL football today, here's anything you may have missed from the high school football scene on Friday night. Starting in Class AAA, the U is still the team to beat. University 3-0 after a 52-20 win over Brook. This is now the third straight game that the Hawks have scored 52 or more points. Bridgeport improves to 2-0 after a blowout win over Liberty, 54-6. Indian senior Cam Cole shines in this game with four rushing touchdowns on five carries for 200-plus yards, all in the first half. 
Buckhannon Upshur won its first game of the season, capped off by this incredible play, a 99-yard pick six by Bryson Johnson. Bucks took down Philip Barber 27-16. Preston fell 48-7 to John Marshall. In Class AA, Robert C. Bird improves to 2-0 after a quality win over the AAA opponent Greenbrier East 31-16. Jeremiah King rushed for 330 yards and three scores. North Marion and Fairmont Sr. squared off. It was 7-6 until a fourth quarter burst put the Polar Bears on top 20-14 as they improved to 2-1 on the season. Lincoln wins big over Grafton 27-7 as the Cougars win their second game of the year. And Lewis County wins its first game in week three, 22-8 over Elkins. And in class single A, Clay Battelle now 2-1 after taking down Valley Wetzel 49-8. A great showing from quarterback Carson Shriver finding the end zone multiple times for the Seabees. Ritchie County with a huge comeback win over Wahama 50-48. The Rebels stay undefeated heading into week four. Gilbert County is 2-1 after win over Wirt County 39-12. Tigers Valley wins big over Webster County 43-14. Tyler Consolidated shuts out South Harrison 40-0. And Tucker County falls to East Hardy 46-0. The Catch of the Week is brought to you by Salem University. Built on tradition, focused on the future. And who had the best hands from those games this past Friday night? It's time for the Salem Catch of the Week nominees. First one comes from a Marion County battle. North Marion's Brody Hall finds Tariq Miller, gets his hands out there, and the spin move to gain some yards. Tariq always with good hands. This week is no different. Next catch comes from Ellen Burrow. Ethan Hot flares it out to Gus Morrison. He grabs it before it hits the ground and takes it to the house. Nice hands by Gus Morrison. Last week's Catch of the Week winner, Do It Again Sage Clodges, makes this catch in the end zone for a Hawks touchdown. Watch Clodges get up there. Time now for the Stan Kimeon Insurance Coverage of the Week. Time for our Coverage of the Week segment. As you just heard, last week we saw some great plays, but two more fantastic defensive plays this week. First one coming from Philippi, but Canaan Upshur's Bryson Johnson with the highlight of the night, maybe. 99 yard pick six for Johnson. Wow, huge play as the Bucks win their first game of the season. And next, we have one from Marion County. Fairmont Sr. looks to heave the ball to a receiver, but Landon Frey gets up there. What a grab. Takes it to the house after this. Call that one a pick six. Frey with great athleticism in that play right there. For all of the highlights from Friday night and to vote for catch and coverage of the week, head to our website, WBOY.com. Stay with us. We're back after the break. He really wants me to buy this gun. What's going to happen if I do? That gun you bought, now two people are dead. Don't buy a gun for someone who can't. All the hits. All the spins. All the hot streaks. All on FanDuel Casino. All the on-field excitement fans love. Now in an online casino. Start playing blackjack, roulette, and slots for real money today. Download and play your first 24 hours risk-free. Get up to $1,000 back. More than 170,000 people in West Virginia have come to rely on something vital. Medicare Advantage. It takes care of seniors with chronic illness, mobility issues, and everyday health concerns as we grow older. That's what West Virginia seniors deserve. Now there's talk in Washington about cutting Medicare Advantage and raising our premiums. Senator Joe Manchin has fought for seniors and Medicare Advantage. We need him now more than ever because Washington listens to him. Call the senator and thank him for fighting for us. 
Whether your customers rely on you to make their day or your threads to make an impression, you can rely on Suddenlink Business Secure Internet with 100 meg speed to keep your business going. It's internet with built-in security for only $84.95 a month for one year. It keeps you connected and protected as your customers rely on you to bring them the meals, the wheels, or whatever they love about your business. Stuck in a contract? We'll buy you out. We'll even give you a $100 Visa prepaid card. You can rely on us to help your business grow. Call or visit SuddenLinkBusiness.com today. Get this 19 horsepower diesel 4x4 tractor with belly mower and three point hitch for just $169 a month out the door only at Mahindra Clarksburg. Welcome back to NASA astronauts are conducting a spacewalk today outside of the International Space Station to prepare for more solar array upgrades. The crew members of Expedition 65 will install a modification kit that will prepare the site for future installment and development of the third of six new ISS. Roll out solar arrays. The new solar arrays will increase the space station's total available power from 160 kilowatts to 215 kilowatts. The current solar arrays have been supplying power on the space station for more than 20 years. This marks the 12th spacewalk at the ISS this year and the 244th to help assemble, maintain, and upgrade the station. Today's mission is expected to last more than six hours. Solar arrays ha are typically designed to last 15 years. However, since the original arrays seem to be holding up better than expected, the team will monitor the new arrays to test their true longevity. Well, the weather looked great in space today. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> How about in north central West Virginia? Okay, we're looking nice as well. You know, mostly clear skies for the rest of this evening, but then nice way to start off our work week in the 80s with some mostly sunny skies. We have a chance to see some showers on Wednesday and Thursday, but then for the rest of the week, looking very nice, hopefully, fingers crossed, with those temperatures looking nice for next weekend. All right, well, thanks so much. Ms. Harley Benda joins us. She wants to rave about the Steelers win today. I'll, oh, I'll let her have it. I mean, I'm glad they just came back and won because it wasn't looking good at first. Sure. So. Right. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. I'll be back here at the desk for 12 News Weekend Edition at 11. Next week, you will get Harley Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back here at 11. Have a good evening. Thank you.